it's me again, Kelsey with Shimmering Lids, and today I'm coming to you guys with a Contour 101 video. This is just a very basic contour by using just concealer and bronzer. And um, I know a lot of you probably get a little confused because you see all of the like liquid charts everywhere. They've got like dark foundation here, light foundation there. That's not what this video is. It's just very simple and it takes like an extra five minutes out of you guys' day. And I just wanted to show you how I do mine on the daily and it's not like I'm going seriously out of my way to fix it. So um, you guys can see I've got some shading going on and just makes to make the cheekbones and certain areas of your face stick out and we want to darken other areas to make your face look a little bit more chiseled. Um, I am not a professional makeup artist. I do it freelance and I am self-taught. This is just my process. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. I've done a lot of research and studying on it and this is just how I do my face routine. The idea of what I'm showing you guys today is that this can work for anybody. The same areas, same everything. They say that you know there's different face shapes and you can do different things to help and that's great and I totally agree with that. But on a daily basis and for people who are new to this and are not sure exactly how to contour and they're seeing this and trying it for the first time, this is what I want to show you guys. It's just really easy and simple and quick to the point. So if you will, stay tuned and you can watch the video. It shouldn't be too long. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's get to it. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my foundation routine. Um, I typically, the order that I like to do mine is I like to put on my foundation and then do my eyes and then I'll go back and I will finish my contour process afterwards. I know that I've showed you guys this in the past. Um, there are some things that I'm doing differently because, I mean, let's face it, makeup is a forever changing thing, especially with ourselves. We find things that we don't like, the seasons change, our skin changes, etc. So the first thing that I like to do is I'll go in with my uh, Jurgens Natural Glow and I like to use this to moisturize my face. So since we're here in Florida, it's typically pretty hot and humid, but we do get little cold spots and I will say that I am experiencing some dry skin and this is like the first time that I really ever had to deal with this. So what I've been doing is using my Jurgens Natural Glow and what I like to do is put it on my face and my neck and I like to do that about 20 to 30 minutes before I start my, fa my makeup process. So I will typically get up and I will take my spark and do whatever and I will go and brush my teeth and then I will start doing my hair and then I'll put all of this on before I do all of that. That way it has enough time to soak into my skin so I'm not as like, it's not as greasy on your face and it's time to actually absorb into your skin and do its thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm on a 24 day challenge right now through Advocare so with the Omegaplex and some of the other products that I'm taking, my skin's not as bad right now. Um, so right now it's actually doing pretty good. I've noticed because I was getting so dry like right in here and in my t-zone Which is normally the opposite normally you get really oily there. I don't know what's going on My skin new year new me, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with my primer. This is the makeup forever step one and I am liking this. It's a smoothing. Uh, this is the smoothing one. And I just put a little bit on my face and it really helps to smooth out your pores and all of these areas here. And so far I'm really loving it. The only thing that I don't like about this is that the applicator is so tiny. I don't know if you guys can see that. And not hardly anything like comes out of it. So what I like to do is I will just take it and put it in the areas of my face that I want to rub in. And I put it um, basically all over my face other than my eyes because I like to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. So I'm just going to do my face right now and just make sure it's all blended in. And um, it goes on clear. It looks like it's tan in the, like, when the product first comes out, but it actually goes on clear. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Say. You guys know I love this bad boy here. And just a concealer brush. This is just my preference of how I apply mine. I like to take and put it on my brush. I just dip it out. <laughs> and then I take and I just start to apply it a little bit to my face. Now, you guys can do your eyes first if you want. I change it up from time to time. 
uh, it just depends on what kind of eye look I'm going for that day. If I'm going to do some kind of dramatic eye that I know may take like, um, you know, if I may mess up like something new that you're wanting to try, then typically I will do my eyes first, especially if there's going to be a lot of fallout. I'll do my eyes first, but um, in today's case, I'm just going to do something normal because I just want to show you guys how to do the easiest contour possible. So. It's like the same step on almost every person this way. Yes, we can get into, oh, well, I have this face shape and I have that face shape and there's whatever. That's fine. But what I'm showing you today is like basic. Anyone can do this and go with it. It takes an extra maybe five minutes out of your day and it makes the biggest difference in your makeup. And I've been getting so many requests from girls that just do not understand it. So we're going to break that down. All right. So the next thing I'm going to use is my Morphe M439 brush. I I love this bad boy. It is amazing. I got it uh, for Christmas and my kit that I, or my, my belt set that I got, oh, it's amazing. And it's so like, there's just like, it does not hardly move at all. So it just really blends out well. So I like to start at the bottom and I just start patting. Do not wipe as I've said before, because you will make that product go more sheer in that area. Um, I like to focus more down here on the edges of the cheek and I just bring a little bit up to under the eye because we're going to go in with concealer in a little while and do our contour process there. So we don't want to like cake that up too much. So I'm just going to keep blending this. This brush is the bomb, you guys. Like, if you are looking for a good foundation brush, I definitely suggest to try out Morphe brushes for any brush, for that matter, but this brush is amazing because it just really um, packs it on, and I like a full coverage, but even if you wanted a more sheer coverage, if you don't want full coverage, you can really blend it out with this brush. It is so awesome. And I also just take and blend out this line here just in case. We don't want no sharp, harsh lines. So that is the base layer now that I have. Now, one thing that I do that you may not see a lot of other makeup people do is I like to go ahead and set my face at this point because if not, I will start to crease in here and my, my talking lines basically and I will start to crease in my forehead because I use a lot of facial expressions obviously. So I just take a NYX powder. It's just like a translucent powder. This is their brightening one. And then a Real Techniques powder brush. And I will just take this and pack it in here. And I make sure that I pack this into those areas that I know for a fact are going to crease on me if I don't do it. And I've tried like waiting to do this until the end after I finish my under eye concealer. But by that point, I'd already had some creasing and I just, it doesn't affect me to do it this way anyway. So I'm just, this is just my process this is how I like to do it. Not saying that it's the right way. I'm not a professional makeup artist. This is just mine. So <clears throat> at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and my eyes, and then I will come back and I will show you guys how I finish out my contouring process. Okay, so now I have finished with my eyebrows and my eyes, and I've also applied my eyeliner and my mascara. Um, I don't know if you guys can really tell very well, but um, I will put some still shots in here so that you can see it, and let me go ahead and zoom in and show you. I know this is like a lot of personal space here, but you guys can see like here, like you can still see my bags under my eyes. It's still kind of sheer. I mean, even though this is a full coverage foundation and it's great and it lasts all day, you can still see the eye. You can see my freckles through here and it just looks, now it just looks pretty sheer. Now, if you were wanting to go for a more natural look, you know, you didn't want to look like you had such heavy coverage foundation, this is a good way to do it because you can still see your freckles through the makeup. So people don't think, oh, it's not caked on. It's, you know, you can still see her face through there. That's fine. But if you are wanting a full coverage and you're wanting to um, look more, what they want to consider Instagram makeup, or you want to look more chiseled, more sharp, and more airbrushed, then if you'll take the next step and just go another five minutes, it will make the biggest difference in your look. So I'm going to be using a couple different products, and I will zoom in so that you guys can see a little bit more of my face and what I'm doing. So the first product that I'm going to use at this point is my NYX um, concealer. This, you guys, you can get at Ulta. I believe Target now sells NYX products. Um, this is like 
seven dollars I mean, you can't beat it and uh, I'm in the shade 04 and this is just how I like to do mine now the key to under eye concealer um, one thing that I want to go ahead and mention real quick is I had so many ladies especially um, ones who are a little bit older than I am think that you're supposed to put on concealer before you do your foundation that is not true it is true in the case, say, if you have a blemish or you have a pimple or you have some darkened spots that you want to cover, then yes, that is when you use concealer underneath your foundation and then you apply your foundation. Uh, purple concealers generally counteract blemishes like, like uh, brown and your yellow concealers are going to brighten if you have darkened skin um, and then your green concealer will help to counteract redness so if you have like a pimple or anything like that that's also great to use and then you can also use a concealer that is the same color as your foundation to cover up any blemishes like that also now in order to contour the idea of getting an under eye concealer and I don't know I call it under eye concealer because that's like the most important part but we put it on other areas also and I'll show you guys that but you want to get it about one to two shades lighter than your foundation I would go about two shades lighter it just kind of depends on what product you're using what brand and uh, how it looks on you so what I suggest is to start out with a cheaper concealer that way you can test it and you're not like buying and spending all this money on different concealers that you don't really know what shade you want. So I have loved the NYX so far. Um, I do want to try some other brands eventually. I tried the Revlon Color Stay concealer because I love the foundation. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. So I'm like just I don't even know what I'm gonna use them for. I'm just basically trashing it at this point. But the NYX I always go back to. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the process and show you guys what we're going to do. So when we are contouring, we are highlighting and darkening the face in certain areas. Depending on your face shape, like I said earlier, you can change and put it in different areas, different triangles, however you want to do it. But what I'm going to show you today is kind of the basic that everybody can use, no matter what your face shape, this is just going to be easy for you. Okay? So I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to apply it under the eye here, and I'm going to bring it out. To there okay the next step that I'm gonna do is with the same that I amount of product that I have on here I'm gonna start bringing it down just a little bit just like that okay and then I'm gonna take just the back of this because there's still product on there I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on my nose here this is just so I'm not wasting the product because I'm gonna use this anyways put it at the top of my cupid's bow and here on my chin, I'm going to re-dip into my concealer, and I'm going to go under this eye. I'm getting a little low on my concealer, that's why it's somewhat. Okay, and then the last spot that I'm going to put this is just right here in my forehead. All right. So this is where you guys need to put your concealer. Under the eye, bring it down. Under the eye, bring it down. Down the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and the forehead, okay? The next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Real Technique sponge. Um, you can also use a beauty blender. You can also use a foundation brush like this. You can also use a, another concealer or foundation brush like this one. Just depends on what you have you don't have to go out and get this one I will say this is awesome you just you pour um, run it underwater squeeze it out and it's damp and it will help to spread it more evenly and this is only like seven bucks I believe also at Ulta so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here under my eye and I'm just gonna start patting like I said you guys no wiping because you're gonna smear that product we just want to blend it and make it soak into the skin so I'm just gonna go right under here Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out.
on my forehead I have to wipe a little bit more just because it tends to not blend as well in the area for me. Um, just a small tip, if you guys have a smaller forehead, you can add more of this in here and it will make your forehead look larger. And if you have a large forehead, you can put just a little bit here in the middle and do more darkening here like I'll show you in a minute and it will make your face appear or your forehead appear smaller. So that's just um, a little trick of the trade. I like to take whatever is left over on this and just kind of pop it right here at the very bottom of the cheekbone. All right, so at this point, I have done my highlighting. I am going to now set this with that same powder that I used earlier, my NYX and my Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to take it and in here, down the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. Now, this brush is a little large for me to get completely under my eye, so what I will do sometimes is just take that uh, concealer brush like this, take a little bit of powder, and wipe it right under there and really kind of get it in because I have a little bit of wrinkles under my eyes, so I will notice that it will tend to um, settle into those fine lines if I'm not, not careful. The next thing that I'm going to do is take an angled blush brush, just like this one. This is just a, a cheap, cheap one, nothing important. And then this is my NYX bronzer. It's a matte finish. And um, I'm, so far I'm liking this. Uh, it's, you have to really do a little bit of extra blending to make it work, but it, it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to take some for that product knock my brush off because you want to get that excess fallout off the brush if you guys will take and look at your ear right here at the top of your ear how it comes down just like this at this angle this is where i'm going to make my contour line to start shading so i'm just going to take that product that i have on that brush start at the top of the ear start at the top of the ear and bring it down just like this and once i get my line established like that i'm just going to take and just start blending it out in circle motions you guys can make this as dark as you want. It just depends on how dramatic you're wanting to go and how harsh of a line that you want. So now I am I just picked up a little bit more product whenever you saw me put my brush down and I just grabbed a little bit more so that I could darken the area. So you see how that looks? And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So dip, knock off my brush, pull back my hair, and then start swiping. Take a little bit more product, knock it off, and start blending. Blending is key, you guys. That's what we do in life as we blend. Blend, blend, blend. Alright, so now we have this part done. What this has done now is it's made a chiseled effect here. It's made our cheekbones look higher and more lifted and angled. And that was just as simple as just using a little bit of bronzer and an angled blush brush. So with that same brush, I'm going to take a little bit more product. I only do one dab on this one because um, this bronzer, like I said, it, the way that I want it to blend, you'll learn your product. It just depends on which one you're using. But this one, I just, I like to build it up if I can because I'd rather, you'd rather do little and build up because you can't take away once it's on, okay? So take a little bit more of that product. I'm going to start right here on the forehead, okay? I'm going to go in a circle like that and I will start to slowly bring it down to the edge of the eye, the eyebrow right here. I'm going to grab a little bit more, start in the temple area, or I'm sorry, up here and then bring it down to the temple. So the idea then of this is we're kind of connecting these lines here. I don't like to completely connect this because I want this area to look lighter. So I just will do like a swipe. That way I'm not putting a lot of product on that area. So I'm taking one more hit. Forehead. Start blending. And then you just want to look at it and make sure that it's all 
Make sure that's all evened out. And then I will bring a little bit right here at the very top in the middle. We're kind of creating a little bit of a halo effect. So now at this point we have shading here and we have shading here. And it just makes the face look like it has more light in it. It has more uh, structure to it. And I mean, it's so easy, y'all. And the next thing, um, this is the last step that I'm going to do as far as my contour process. Um, out of that same kit that I have with the, the Amazon brushes that I ordered, I've told you guys about, I'm just going to use this one. It's just a flat one. And I take the smallest little dab, I don't want a lot, shake it off, and I'm going to come right down at the edge of the nose. This will make your nose appear slimmer and sharper. And you don't want a lot of product whenever you're doing your nose because... You don't have very much area to blend with and to work with, so once it's on, it's on. So I like to start kind of right here in the middle, and then I like to start kind of bringing it up and then bringing it down. And then you can take and put it right here. I'm not going directly on the tip of the nose, I'm going right here. So now at this point, I'm finished with my contour process. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, you guys. It is it is so simple. It does not have to be any more complicated than that. I know you girls probably see charts all the time with, you know, they've got lines here and foundation here and all these words all over their face like it's a face chart and it looks so overwhelming and so confusing. It is not. It does not have to be this complicated. It can just be easy. And this is my daily routine that I do. It is not taking me hardly any more time to go ahead and do this than what I do with my foundation process. And then on top of that, I look way cleaner. I look more airbrushed because I've noticed if I don't do this and people can see my freckles and stuff through here, they're like, are you tired? Are you okay? Are you not feeling well today? And I'm like, gee, thanks guys. Appreciate it. You're so sweet. No. My makeup is just sucking today. That's what it is. This now is part of my daily routine and I really like it. It's really easy and it can be this simple for you. So just, you know, if you guys need to watch this video like a thousand times, that's totally fine with me. I do not care. Um, I have a lot of women that are just so confused on this process and they are not sure how to contour. Um, so this is my process and the next thing that I would do after this is just I'm going to go ahead and add my my blush and my highlight and show you how I finish off my face. I'm going to be using the Sephora Ombre Obsessions palette and a real, sorry, and a real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to make sure that my brush is wiped off and clean. There's this color here it's like a brown bronzy color. I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to go on I'm throwing crap. I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm going to take on top of that line. So here's our contour line. And this is where I'm going to put my blush right above it. Okay. So I start in the middle and then I bring it up and I just start blending. I like to blend upward. It makes the, it pulls the cheekbones back even more. And I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, purple reddish kind of color and just put on top of that just because this has been one of my favorite colors and it gives the color uh the face a little bit of a pop since my eyes are they're smoky but they're still neutral colors i'm going to highlight my face because girl that highlight has got to be on fleek i love a highlight there's nothing better than whenever you take a picture or you're sending a video and like all of this is just lighting up it's like my go my life has been made my makeup goals today are accomplished i'm going to be using the becca this is the becca highlighter this is in the color moonstone and it's kind of a white shimmer color it's very pretty and it doesn't go on like white so i'm taking one of my morphe brushes this is the uh, m310 and this is a fan brush you guys can use whatever brand you want. Uh, the fan brushes, you can order some off of uh, eBay or Amazon really cheap, you know. So I'm just going to take and dust in this a little bit, knock off my brush, and then I'm going to start at the top of the cheekbone, and I'm just going to start swiping it like this. That's like my highlight like this. I love it. Oh, do you see that? Look. Ah! 
Oh, I love it. Okay. You know, I just get so excited over this stuff. It's like goals. Highlight goals. I like to focus more up here than I do down here. So that's why I always start at the top and then bring it down. Because you don't want to look like you're like oily in your cheek area. And then um, I will take and just do like one little, one little pop. And I'll do right on the tip of my nose. Remember how earlier we went under the tip here? Sorry about the little cut out there. My camera had a mishap and it shut off. So back to what we was doing. So as I said, I took a dabble here, right here on the tip of the nose. And then I'm going to take just a little bit more, make sure my brush is knocked off. I'm going to put it on the chin, right above the cupid's bow. And just a little right here on my forehead. Now, if you'll notice, I've just done the same exact places that I highlighted with my concealer. So it is very easy to do. And then um, I will also put a little bit of a strip right here down the middle where we highlighted earlier. So that, my friends, is my contour process. Why am I getting red and blotchy? This is weird. Maybe it's the lights. I don't know. Whatever. Stupid. So the last thing that I do to finish off my makeup look is I go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is Amaze Balls if you guys have not tried it. And I just spray it on my face. And then I will throw on some lipage. I'm gonna be using NYX Lip Gloss. This is just a flesh tone one. This one's called Chandelier. And I will just put this Eyelids. This is my grab and go lip gloss. And that's my finished look, guys. That's it. Real easy. Wondering the eyes, I use the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I also use my Morphe 35N palette. And I only use this one because I just needed a couple of the extra browns over here. That was it. Other than that, you can use the entire look that I did today with just this palette. And other than that, that is the end of my look. I hope that you guys uh, find this helpful. I hope that it really helps you out. Please send me pictures or send me any messages if you guys try it because it is really simple and it does not have to be any more complicated than this and I want you guys to feel like you can accomplish this and do something without it taking an extra 45 minutes out of your day. Uh, I know a lot of people are getting some requests for, are giving me requests for like a 5 to 10 minute makeup routine. I'll just be honest, like I don't have I definitely don't have a five minute makeup routine. I could make it work in 10 minutes because I've had to before, but something gets cut and I'm still not happy with it at the end of the day. So I don't really feel like I have a routine, but uh, this one is my daily. I just make time for myself to get up, you know, and give myself 20 minutes to do my makeup, 20 to 30 minutes, just depends on how much I want to do with my eyes that day. What I will typically do if I'm in a hurry is I will do my foundation process that I showed you guys and I will do my contour process and on my eyes I will use like one color on the lid and then the crease and I will use just a highlight color and I will just fill in my brows with some eyeshadow and go. So that's, you know, other than just throwing on some eyeliner really quick just in my waterline. Um, that's about as simple as I will get, me personally, but I don't have the skin like a lot of women do that can just put on some foundation and go. Like I have a lot of freckles and that's what I want to cover up. That's just my personal preference. So once again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, and if you don't mind, you can uh, subscribe to my channel. And then also you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash shimmeringlids. And then you can also find me on Instagram, shimmeringlids underscore by underscore Kelsey Benson. And I am also on Snapchat at KJV1522. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have a blessed day. Bye.